Hello, it's Andrew. I wanted to explain how this game is made and is working. This is the Module 10 assignment for Unreal Engine, creating a 2D platformer. So there is a dinosaur character that can run and jump and uh, be idle. And there's a tile map here behind the scenes. If you notice, there's multiple things that can be done in this stage. The goal is to get out of the exit point and there's multiple things that can be done and this is a this is sort of a puzzle game actually it is a puzzle game puzzle platformer so there are switches there are barrels that can explode when those explode they could also potentially explode something that they're near and there are these pieces of food which sort of operate as keys to get past these walls so i had <laughs> i had my kids play through this and um, not, I did not that one. Don't click that. We're not playing the whole game. Hold on a second. How do I close that? Change the play mode to not standalone game, just selected scene. Okay, so I had my kids play through this and uh, they didn't get it at first, but then finally after some amount of time, uh, they, they looked through it and figured out how it works. So if you wanna have a play, just download the game and um, from the, the module files attached to the post and play it. Platforming is a little challenging here. Um, it doesn't seem like the 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 movement, the, the colliders are there, but just the movement and the, the jumping, it's, I would like it a little bit differently. Um, so I'm also going to provide a solution on this video. So if you're going to play it and do not want to figure the solution out without playing it first, or if you've played it already and you just can't figure out the solution, this is where we'll show it to you. So let's stop and start in. So if you notice, the first thing that can be done is you can take one of the keys. Any of those keys are going to uh, destroy something. So if you take green, it's going to destroy the steak. If you take blue, it's going to destroy the bacon. If you take yellow, it's going to destroy the ribs. If you take orange, it's going to destroy the turkey. So the first thing actually is to take the turkey. After which point, you the orange barrels are not going to explode anything, and the turkey row would be deleted. So it's essentially replaying that action over and over based on what you're taking. And finally, after you do that, you'll notice that the exit the level is now exitable. So let's let's play through that, and uh, we'll work through that process. So it's a little little challenging if you've never played it before because. You know, it's sort of an exploration, explore, explore, uh, talking, exploration game into what you can do and, and what cause and effect those things have. So now that we've taken the turkey, we can finally break the orange barrels with the switch. And let's get over to where the orange barrels were. And you notice that now I can finally take the stakes. So now that I've taken the stakes, uh, we can kind of go to this middle layer and see that two of those, those blocks to the right of the, the ribs and the bacon are now gone. So we've taken the green, uh, let's see, did I actually destroy the green or not? I have not destroyed the green yet. I can't get back on the platform. It's a little annoying. It'd be nice to be able to adjust the, the movement midair, kind of like how Mario games are able to do that. So take the green and then the green barrels are now exploded. There's nothing blocking me from taking the bacon. Take the bacon and the now that i've taken the bacon what can we do <laughs> um we can take this uh you, the blue is blocking the uh the ribs so let's go and take the blue finally there's only one key left but first before we take that we have to grab the ribs and just to just to quickly show our progress we will jump over to this area. We've only got the yellow barrels left. So if we go up, up here's fine. If we go up and get the yellow, then there is nothing blocking us from exiting the level now. And so we exit the level and the game crashes because he falls beyond the scene. That's that's the that's it. That's the uh, solution to the game. Um, interestingly enough, there's the, the barrels share the same script between color. The blocks share the same actor between, uh, this is basically one object with 
uh, one object per meet. Each meet has its own blueprint. Each switch has its own blueprint. And I wanted to find a way to optimize that, but I think that's the that's the intended way. Um, so there's actually, if you think about it, four, eight, 12, 16 blueprints involved in this scene. Yep, I think that's about it. Thanks, everybody.